Hey, my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon. Today, we're going to talk about a virtual summit, how to create a virtual summit and how you can use a drip course to actually automate the delivery of your summit. Now, if you're thinking of creating a virtual summit, you probably already have an idea. You might even have your videos. If you don't have your videos yet, we can talk a little bit about that because I did put together a summit not long ago. But before we get into that, first this. So the real question is this, what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so a virtual summit, what do I mean by a virtual summit? So recently I put together um a virtual summit which is basically at least my definition of it right is a set of videos that are delivered over a period of time that are about a specific topic right so we're going to talk about a virtual summit we're going to talk about drip courses and how you can do that yourself with the platform Click eCourse in just a moment and and but before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at a cis365.jsgagnon.com to see the blog post in the video uh, because I'm going to be sharing my screen so let's get right to that right now so first of all what is a summit so actually I have the screenshot the screen here of Click eCourse let me just um I should probably have gone to my funnel <laughs> but let me see I did okay I have a picture I have an image I should have shown that I should have gotten that before we got into here well let me go to my previous uh previous uh, da, 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 da. I have an image showing a drip course what do I mean by a drip course so where is that image I have that image here someplace if I can find it where is it there it is right here all right so now if we look at a picture like this right if we look at a picture like this you can see right here that there's an example of a drip course content so the idea with a drip course is that you deliver content over time um, to your students to your participants to your registrants based on a set schedule right so that's the idea with a summit is you would have like if I look at I have that somewhere I know I have that somewhere let me just see if I can't load that up I should have let me actually pause the recording and come back to you in a second with what I'm talking all right so I found what I was looking for let me go back to my screen share here so this is a summit I did right so basically I had a, a couple of different things going on here I had the, the the 10 days right you can't see all 10 days but you can see one two three four five six seven days you see different topics I had for each of those days so you know creating a summit creating a virtual summit is a lot of work it's not a simple thing to do right so I mean you have to go and create the the summit itself so this this particular episode is not about creating a summit and coming up with the topics and coming up with the 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 summit um, um you know subject matter if you will and finding the experts and scheduling uh, the the interviews getting on the recordings but it's assuming you've done all that already and you've gotten everything but now you want a place to pull, host it one of the things I did when I first did this summit I put I put the videos online on on YouTube and then I just you know shared the, the videos each day with people that were registered using a platform that allowed me to share and then at the end of each day I would make the previous videos unaccessible and then I would put the new videos accessible right so it was a manual thing that I did that every single morning for those 10 days and that you know that works right but it was kind of a bit of an annoying to have to oh my I got to get up at this time I gotta I have to decide on the schedule I couldn't do it like at 2 a.m if I wanted it had to be you know 7 or 8 a.m a time that made sense with me that meant that I had to always be you know up at that time which you know wasn't a big problem but still what what if something happens what if you can't do it that day uh, do you need to have somebody else to do it with you you need to have a some you know you need to have you need to be organized in all those things what if you don't have that 
and something happens what if why not have it so it's automatic all right and that's what the um that's what the platform allows you to do with a drip course I'm going to show you how to create a drip course and how you can use a drip course for a summit so let's just go back to the other screen I had over here uh, right here and let's go back to the platform so first of all we're talking about using Click eCourse to do a drip course to deliver a summit so if I go to the courses I have on the site already right now you can see there's a there's a virtual summit over here that was delivered right here so these are the original ones originally I had I just created a course I posted the videos on there and then I made them available each day and I made the previous ones unavailable right so and then I had the second course where I had all the videos again uploaded a second time to be pe for people that had paid for the pass right because so I had all these videos that were accessible for 24 hours for free and after the 24 hours they would no longer be able to view the videos and if they wanted to see the videos again after 24 hours or if they wanted to to watch them multiple times after multiple days they needed to buy a VIP pass and that VIP pass gave them access to all of it this is what this one is if I go to this one right now I'm not logged in so it's just going to say register to add it's a free it's got 10 days on it then there's a list of the speakers right and each of the days has different uh, videos um and right now it's past the deadline so none of these are actually going to be the full videos or the shorter version of the videos and I just that's kind of what I did I replaced the videos afterwards with a short version of video that has a footer at the end a trailer I should say at the end that says if you want to watch the rest of the video you got to get the VIP pass right so that's what I did there and these are all here except that as you can see they're all a minute 50 even though some of these interviews are 30 45 minutes they're all showing a minute 50 for each of the videos that's kind of how I did the that I did it before before drip courses before drip courses I had to have two separate courses to host all the videos while it was happening and then I had to have another separate course to allow VIP access to people who could see the whole thing right and that's why I like to see right here I have this second one this VIP pass one if I go to that again it's not allowing you the access it's showing me a price and it's showing me all the videos see 30 minutes 47 minutes 8 minutes 21 minutes 15 22 28 40 right 47 42 so that's the full videos that are there but you can't access them unless you pay for it right <coughs> that's the VIP pass now the drip course merges all that together and automates it for you so that you don't have to worry about making a video available one day then making it not available the next day or or if you want to make it five days per video that's fine you can schedule it whichever way you want you can have videos available for a couple of hours even if you want right you can make it available only for six hours and then all of a sudden it's not available anymore you can make um you can make five videos available on one day and then two on the next or for a whole week you make a video available then you make it the next video is available for the next week and then the next like it's all whatever timing you want to use and that's the 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 cool thing about the drip course uh, feature is that it allows you to do that for um for for a virtual summit right so let's say let's look at the next summit that I did which I did with this new drip feature when I look at this one which is the one that I did July 12th 12th to 21st right so it's over now um oh look at that there's two buttons there shouldn't be two buttons but anyways I gotta fix that but if I look at this I can still see all the speakers right and all the days are there and when you look at the length you can still see 47 minutes uh 40 minutes you know 21 minutes you can see still see the full length of the videos right and but you can't watch them unless you right now it's free uh it shouldn't say by now but anyways that's another little but once you add it you can watch it so if I log in let's say I log in here as um well let's log in as me for for to start with to show you what it looks like 
so whenever you're uh, looking at an, a created course basically any of these I can watch now and if I click on the edit course link for this course I can see that under type it says it's drip content over time instead of default so the default type is a regular course free access you know access to anything at any time whereas the drip content over time you you give it a start date so I gave it a start date of July 7th so I could change this right now I could change it now to you know uh August 1st right so I could re-release my summit I can keep doing that over and over and anybody who bought the VIP pass for it would have access to the whole thing anyways if I look at uh, let's uh, see uh okay well anyways that's just uh, so the other thing so you set the start date you set the start time and you decide whether it's time uh time travel or not so what that means is that if I say 8 a.m right here right it's 8 a.m for based on my time zone the creator of the of the drip course right my time zone determines when the course starts so 8 a.m my time is 7 a.m eastern or 6 5 4 a.m pacific right and it's I don't know 11 p.m um, gmt or something right or no I mean noon maybe gmt right so but if I set it to time travel I say yes time travel what happens is it'll be 8 a.m no matter where the person is if they're in the in pacific coast it'll be 8 a.m for them if they're in if they're in uh in london it'll be 8 a.m over there which will be 8 a.m i guess would be 4 a.m my time etc right that kind of stuff so you set the time zone you can choose that okay so um that's that's the base that's that's really the basic setting the rest of the stuff is just the same stuff that you would have on a normal course under price commission you want you can have a price and a drip price see in this case I made the drip free which means the virtual summit is free and how long the videos last is configured on a per video basis so if I if I go and I say cancel right here because I don't want to I didn't change anything but still and then I look at any of these like let's actually just look at the list the list of them and then after that I'll show you how to do that I'll actually do one kind of with you on our live right now in the recording right to kind of show you exactly how to do it so if I just look at the lessons list <clears throat> you can see right here that these these ones they start on day one day one day one day one day one right they all start on day one all of these start on day one as you can see right here it's day one and um and what the other thing that happens too is there's a, a selection for what you want them to see if it's before the start or the day that it's supposed to start and it says right here the pre-drip video is the main video but everywhere else it says none right that what that means is that even if let's say it starts August 1st and right now we're before then well if they go to this course right the summit they're going to see the, only these videos the rest they're not going to see any of them it's it's going to be like they don't exist so that allows you to decide whether you want them to see what's coming tomorrow and the day after and the day after you can choose to make them uh vi view the whole thing <clears throat> you can choose for them to be able to see um uh, a little intro video if you want you can you you can upload up to four videos or is it four yeah it's four videos uh for each of the lessons a, a lesson is basically you know it would be one of the videos of the day right for example so in that lesson you can choose to have different videos for different events you can have for example you can have a short video that just says this lesson is not yet available you can have another video that's that's the actual video then you can have another video that's a video after the fact that kind of just shows a little bit of it with a trailer again you can have another video for people that bought the full access pass so <clears throat> that's kind of how that works so I'm going to show you an example if I look at this one 
uh, specifically this one here this one is not okay yeah this one let's just look at this one so this is a day two video this is a second day video and this video here oops scroll down here so you can see there's the video the main video right here then there's oops cancel that and then there's another video right over here right so and you can have up to four videos right number one two three and four and then you can choose what happens before the pre-drip full access that means if somebody buys your full access which in this case of this one was you know three hundred dollars or whatever which is kind of a VIP full access pass that gives them access to everything uh forever right for life um then you can choose to give them access to the main video if they if they buy it right say you have 10 videos and you want to drip them over 10 days well if you you can decide that the person buying the full access pass has access to 10 videos right away or they don't have access to the videos until at least the 10th day of the live event right uh, yeah so those are your two options more or less <clears throat> for the full access then you can choose for pre-drip and post-drip video so pre-drip means before the day that that video is supposed to be available what do you want to show them and if you say none if you say not accessible then it won't even show up in the menu it won't even it won't it'll be like that video doesn't exist in the in the view of the list of videos right uh and then the post and then the other option is you can choose one of the other videos right video number the main one video number two so the main one is used to uh to uh, identify how long the lesson is so if you have more than one version of a lesson you want to keep the main one as the as the one that identifies how long the videos are right um so anyways I don't know if that makes sense but okay so then the post drip video is the video that you're going to show after the day is over so if this is video for day two then what are you going to show on day three for the free access right for the drip access after day three on day three and and after right after day two say this is day two video well you want to show well you could choose to show nothing or you show a different video in my case what I chose was a different video that showed only the first minute and 40 seconds or so of the original video and then afterwards had a trailer that said if you want to watch the rest of this go get your VIP pass at whatever the URL is right so I just put that in there so that's how uh, I chose to do it okay so if I um let's talk about the drip start so the drip start is when is this particular video going to be available throughout the course so it can be it can be any of these any day right I mean it's up to th a year after so you could have 365 videos f one day a year right every single day for the year to kind of show people uh, a different video every day right so <laughs> you could do that uh but this this one here was set to day two which is the second day after the af the next day after start right day one is the start of the course and then it's just two days after three days whatever right so that's you choose how long and then you can also choose the drip length it can be one hour 12 hours one day two days one week um what that means is that once the video becomes available right with the drip start how long is it available for which can be you know a week you can make it two days a week uh if you want other options we can always add them here but for now that's kind of what we have we have one hour 12 hours one day we could make it six we could make other other numbers uh, let let us know if you want some improvements there but that's kind of what it is right now so that would mean you could even have a video that shows for two days right you could have two days of a video and then another video that starts after one day so you can actually make that you can make this overlapping process if you wanted to it's really quite um uh, complete right the the or, or quite you can make it complicated I guess we can say that okay so if I go back to the course now <laughs> so that's so that's basically the things you can do with a drip course and how you can use it to create a virtual summit so that's how I did this one July 12th to 21st basically what happened is every day people could come to the to the platform come to this page and they could see different videos this would 
grow right it's say day one on the first day there was nothing else right and then on the second day you had day one and you had day two right and then on the third day the day three got added fourth day etc etc right and now since we're past the end of it July 20 we're past July 21st now we're seeing all of them right introduction as well and all that right um okay so let's create a drip course so that you can see how that works let me first log out I'm log out down here <clears throat> and let's register an account which is really simple when you go to when you first go to click ecourse.com you're going to see this page and then you can just click on the register up top right over here and normally you should just click on continue as whatever for Facebook it'll automatically get your email and your name and your a profile picture from Facebook otherwise because I'm already I already have an account I want to show you what that looks like so let's call this cis what are we what are we okay three six five there we go okay so I'm going to do that here I'm just going to create a new account using this oops I guess I didn't uh there we go and you click on the register button so what that does it sends you an email to whatever email you gave it and then it'll uh activate the account so let's just go back to my inbox here and reload this there should be another activation there you go account activation so you're going to get an email like this where you can just uh, click the link to activate your account right so we're just going to activate this account right here <clears throat> and now it says the account's activated and also log me in as you can see right here there's a little face now um I can go and update my profile picture if I want for example I go into profile right here and I can upload a picture and I'm just going to say uh let's see if I go to here here let's put this picture and save so now I have this picture here which is not obviously it's not a real profile picture but as you can see now it's updated up here you see the little profile picture there all right so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a course even though you're creating a virtual summit it's going to be a course in terms of you know how it's organized right so you you click the little plus right here and select course <clears throat> and then we're just going to call this virtual summit uh, intro so let's talk whoops test course to show how to create a virtual virtual a virtual summit all right so we can have details in here obviously if you're creating a virtual summit you're going to have a, a, a summary there and you're going to have proper details and you might have a footer which has maybe a link to your blog or something like that uh, but that's what we're just going to do that for now okay these are the details of the summit all right so we'll just do that so now we can click on the next down here or we just go straight to type we can click directly on those right so let's just click on type so this is a drip course because that's what we want to do for a summit so I do drip I'm going to set the start date to uh, let's say uh let's make it two days ago so that we can see what it looks like well, actually let's make it yesterday 2021 all right and then the start time is going to be let's say eight as well and I'm just going to say next <laughs> yeah there's a bug right now I gotta figure that out but uh, 2021 it seems to be okay after I do it once so I'm not really sure what happens here but I'll, I'll fix that probably by the time you look at it it'll be fixed uh but let's just go back over here reload. I have to reload the page uh, drip course and next uh let's go fix that uh and uh, I'll come right back all right so the problem was the time zone I I have to deal with that but basically because I haven't gone into here and set my time zone yet it was causing a problem with the uh 
with that so let me just go and say uh, New York oops New York America New York is good save that and if I go back to my course down here I go into courses it'll get, allow me to go see my course okay so now I have this and we're going to set the drip course part of it right so let's go edit again okay so now the type is set to drip course 07 let's say 20 and then we want to have a cover image let's create a cover image let's use the same image and then we can set a price of say 200 and the drip price will be zero and let's make it an unlisted for now anything else we need to like the rest we don't need to worry about right now uh, let's just say done so now we have this virtual summit intro course right and there's nothing in it so the the first part of the creation of the virtual summit is you got to create this this container right a course container which is for the course right after that you have to add lessons uh you might want to remove the lesson well anyways, let's first do the lesson you can either press the plus right here or on this plus there's a lesson option so let's do that and we can specify our own file for the thumbnail I'm actually going to enter all my details in here because I'm going to say introduction and I'm going to say this is is what this is about and we will introduce the summit here right so let's say you have an introduction video uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna just go I'm gonna, all right I forgot about that there's a there's the possibility of uploading videos or specifying your your YouTube links if you have a free account on Clicky Course you you can only specify links you can't upload videos so let's let's go make my account an account that can do that so let me just go over here uh let's uh, let's uh, just uh, let me go set that up okay so once you've upgraded your account now you'll be able to specify an upload video instead we're going to do the upload because it'll it'll be easier for me to show you because I already have videos and everything so let's say this is the virtual summit intro I'm going to specify my own thumbnail file and let's go into that actually my bitcloud virtual summit that I had because I can reuse those just to kind of show you so the intro video was let's say this one it was this one video one was uh, da, 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 introduction which, uh, I gotta see which is the smaller one I believe it was this one there you go so this one here oh no that's someone I want <laughs> oh my oh my I didn't want the image for it oh actually I don't this is not okay sorry we're not going to do that I'm just going to cancel this <clears throat> use default thumbnail okay so this one I just want to specify the video so upload video instead choose a file this video I was I was picking the wrong thing I was picking the video for the image so this is the video here and I I just want a video just one video right so this is going to be the introduction to the summit which is going to be a video that I'm going to make accessible for for free I'm going to make it free yes and I'm going to make it day one start of course pre-drip access is going to be main video uh pre-drip is going to be main and post drip is going to be main so I want to basically make that video accessible no matter what because it's just like an introduction that's supposed to kind of explain what the summit's about and uh, let people decide that they want to actually you know register and get the the pass and or buy it or that kind of stuff right so um and then I just save that it uploads the video <clears throat> and after it's uploaded it will uh, do some additional things but there you go so this is it gets the thumbnail from the video automatically it shows you um, options to watch it and also even lets you uh, have the uh, audio so if I go back to the course now I have the one video for the course that I need to publish because otherwise even if even if I made the course available somebody wouldn't see this I got to publish it first 
so now it's published so I have one video so let's add the day two video so let's say I go back here another lesson and this will be the day two I want it to start on day two right uh I'm going to upload a video here that's going to be my day two video uh this is one here now I want this video to not show when we first start so the pre-drip I want it to be none I don't want anybody to be able to see anything the post drip though after the day is over I want to show this like trimmed version of it right so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose another video for the day two I have one right here which is a trim two minute version of it so now how to do all that obviously we can cover in a, a different episode but right now I'm just kind of showing you say you have all these things already done so now you put the day two one right here now you have two different videos and you're choosing that the post strip is going to be video number two so after the day is over after the free access is done you're making this just the this that other video but but before the day you don't want any access right so this will be day two comments that's not free so I'm just save that like this <clears throat> and it's going to upload both of the videos so you can see right here it's uploading this and it's uploading this as well it's uploading both of them right and um and so yeah so let's just uh, wait for that and then I'll show you what happens afterwards now that the video is uploaded it's got to do some processing gets the image out of it right that kind of stuff so now you can see there's two audios and there's two videos right here and if I go back to the course again we have these two videos right here and I can say publish now and this is on day two now it says lesson number two and says that so that's we let's edit we can edit those in a second let's do the third day video now let's add the third day video another lesson and this will be day three so let's make it day three right and let's do the same thing upload video we're going to choose the day three video which is this one here and then the shorter version of it the day three is right over here whoops right whoops sorry this one and that's day three pre-drip is none pre-drip video is none post is the video two right okay so now we were um, and now I'm going to show you kind of what happens when you have this and how to fine-tune it so now we have three videos or right? we have the video that's available from the beginning no matter what that's free even that people can see whether they register or not just so they get an idea of what this is all about then we have the day two video which shows up on the second day and then we have the day three video which shows up on the third day so that means because I started this course the start date of it I made it yesterday right that means that if I was to access this well first I gotta make sure I gotta finish it and save it if I go back here I gotta activate this one too make sure they're all published right so publish it okay so now they're all published this is number three it said they all say new lesson because I didn't edit it I'll show you in a minute how to do that but if I go for example into a new incognito window let's say share right here and I'm going to open this in an incognito window so now when I go there to this link I see I have one lesson and two where's lesson three why is lesson three not even there that's because lesson three is only going to be available tomorrow right we said that we don't want we want this one the number three to only be available on day three and right now because we started the the course yesterday or the drip yesterday today we're on day two which means that day three is not available yet right that's kind of how it works so anything after day three would not be available even if you had it here published and everything based on the settings we chose right so now you can see that you can actually watch this right now you can click on watch now <laughs> it says watch now and this one says register to add right you can't you can't uh watch it unless if I was to click on this it'll take me to the uh well it's got oh I guess we gotta log in and stuff to do that but okay so now we have these three if we had more obviously we'd add more and more and more it would be the same process but let's just take a look at these now I want to fix all this now I can go and edit each of these individually by clicking the little edit but for the 
the topic and the basic summary and all that I can actually go right into the lessons list which is just this link here and I can see the list right here and I can actually edit this I can say this is introduction all right and then this one here is day one uh, day two video right and uh, well let's just say day two day two like that and this one here is day three day three all right um and I can do the same thing with summary I can edit this this is the introduction this is the introduction to the summit right and over here I can say you know, on day two we'll talk about uh, or actually I probably wouldn't say that I would just say let's talk about x right <clears throat> and over here let's talk about talk about y right so you can t whatever you want to put obviously it's your it's your course so you choose what the summary is what the details are and by the way let's just show you here details of the introduction I'm going to show you where that goes if I just save that like this then I go here these are whoops not details of the day two video and let's do it over here too details of the day three video right so we have those set now now the other thing you can do too is you can choose whether people can comment on the different videos you can change this to no if you don't want them to comment there whether it's free or not is chosen here then the footer is also something you can do and you can edit those right here too and I think that's all you can do otherwise you can go straight to, you can go to the edit of that particular thing and you can even clone a video like if I clone this I'm going to clone this it'll just make this a day let's make this a day four and uh, I'm just going to save that like this well oh, actually it says clone let's say day four <coughs> day four talk about Z and this is day four video right okay so we'll just save that it's gonna be the same video right now because I didn't change the video itself but if I go back to the course <coughs> now I have this day four one right here which I say publish now if I go back to the person that isn't logged in what they see here is still day one and two they won't see anything else they won't see day, day three and day four right because it's not published yet uh what else did I want to show you all right so I wanted to show you if I go on this it loads it up right here starts playing the little intro here and then after that let's go to the video itself all right welcome to okay so now we see the video itself playing and we can pause it and you can see up here this is where you would see the uh the lesson number the day and then the, the inf introduction and the details right so this is where it shows up you can hide this or if you want to enable menus if you want to show menus then what happens is <clears throat> now you have menus on the side right here if I go back to uh go back to this guy and I reload this now there's menus on the side here right it shows videos which is just one and two again right same thing one and two and um and then if I disable the ads for example I can turn the ads off right that's fixed that removes the ads if I reload this page here there won't be any ads here either right it's really up it's a choice you make based on your account and all that but still now the other thing is let's say we want this to be a little bit more organized uh let's go in here and let's say we have two videos on day three so I'm going to add another lesson and I'm going to put two videos on day three so this will be I'm going to put it right here day three video two video two of day three and I'm going to make this a, a day three no there's nothing pre-drip pre-drip post-drip is video two again it'll be the same thing let's just make it a day three it doesn't really matter and then over here I'm going to choose the day three video which is the same video but doesn't really matter and this will be day three and uh actually let's make it a day two video because I want to show what happens when you have two videos on the same day so this will be day two 
let's make this video two of day two video day two video two okay uh let's do that <clears throat> and then what it's what's going to happen is you're going to be able to you're going to see those two one after the other but when you enable a menu there's a way to make it so that they kind of collapse in the day like I have do I have this here uh no I guess I well yeah I guess I can go to courses and show you why that while that's uploading if I go here right you see how the menu here is day one whoops what happened there you go day one day two day three day four right and if I open them there's more than one if I mouse over it I even see the details of that particular particular video right that's the summary and the details of the video and it's not showing me but if I look down here you can see how it says day two day three post types day three Constantine day three William day three Jean Serge right and then day four so the way the the platform works is if you want to organize your videos if you have more than one on a particular day or you want it to be in the same menu pull down right because you have you could have a course this is meant for courses too so if you had a course where you had an introduction three four videos of that introduced you introduced the concept introduced some some other thing you could have all put them under introduction and then you could have you know preparation and then you could have taking action and then you could have conclusion right and then you can have multiple videos in each of those sections so those these could be like sections you can use modules as well there's other ways to do this but just from the menu perspective that means that you go here <coughs> if I go back to the course let's publish this video here now I want this to be after the other one so if I go into the lessons right here whoops under lessons now I can move this up right I want this to be <coughs> I want this to be moved up uh it doesn't look like that's working actually let's move this down maybe oh look at that oh. okay let's make this uh let's make this 10 and make this mm, oh I guess I can't there's something going on I see okay so let's just say I want this to be <coughs> this will be sort ID number 10 <clears throat> and back to the list now it's going to be 10 and this is 11 day two there you go we got them in the right order so day two so now what I want to do is I want to show you how to organize them so over here I want to have day two video one right and then over here I'm going to have day two video two with a when you put the vertical bar it uh, it sets them up as organization so I'm going to do the same thing video one and then day four video one and then under introduction what is this like that okay so now they all have a, 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 like a vertical bar right and if I go back to my uh go back to my menu go back to the course you see by magic now the menu will have these like separations see day two day three day four right now you might want to get rid of this 2.2 .2 right there 2.3 I'm going to say show lesson no and I want the lesson numbers because I don't need them I'm organizing C video one video two video one video two introduction what is this now if I go back to the um you know the incognito view instead of videos now it says introduction and day two right day two introduction so that's kind of how you organize it now as you can see the videos will show up over time over your period of your, your summit if your summit is 30 days that's fine you can have 30 different videos you can have five videos per day it's really up to you and you can have it automatically scheduled things over time using the drip courses so if you have any questions of course you can always reach out but we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time